parcel is oversubscribed. <coughs> We're not looking at provision that exists at this moment in time. It doesn't exist. How could we look at it? It's not there. What we're being told is, well, actually, we'll, we'll have to be in school business school. Currently, our children have access to our whole school, and so they should. They can have lunch together. They have assemblies together. They do school plays together. There are no issues. Wherever Lily is in that school, she is safe. There are no issues at all in relation to her safety in any part, and she deserves that school what she's been through. She absolutely deserves it. And I think the local authority have a legal and a moral obligation to maintain that standard for my daughter, no matter of the cost. In theory, you could send it to Eric Park and say, well, actually, no, no, this is too expensive. You've got to consider yeah. your children. But no, she is special and she's expensive, and unfortunately, that is the case. We have in this place, in this procedure, I have to say, various reasons. We've compared open and transparent so many times now. I apologise if I'm going on, but open and transparent seems to be limited. We ask somebody to come and go and see if they need medical, who knows our children, who knows the medical needs of our children, who's there, all of them. She was not allowed to come and give evidence. How can this be open and transparent? If somebody's not allowed here to give evidence because they're an employee of the local authority, that is simply not fair. It's not fair. It's not open and it's not transparent. Not mindful to let that particular point go while the discussion is my book. As I understand, the, the, the witnesses were arranged by the police secretary and or and by yourself. I'm not yeah. aware of any betting or any uh, witnesses in that. I want that to be part of it. There are people, their assistants, who must be employees of the yeah. authorities, so that's not, maybe not the best venture to take her. I just want to clarify that. Are you aware of any witnesses that have been? Matter of fact, this was we told by uh, she was an employee with a conflict of interest and she was not allowed to be there in the this hearing today. Well, you can have two employees of the authority who are given the evidence. She's employed where it has and because she's involved in some of the other two schools, she was told with a conflict of interest. And I'm sorry for that, it's not fair.
so we, uh, I'm not proposing to uh, prolong your, your, your uh, agony any, any longer. Um, it's been very helpful, uh, very helpful and um, very well appreciated think, by all members of the committee. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.
and now it's being taken out of our hands. Mother is happy. The social little interactive girl who has settled in well and enjoys interaction and learning from new things every day. Every child, regardless of their ability, deserves an education in an environment that suits their needs. Just because children like my daughter are in the minority of the special needs bracket does not mean their education and well-being should be put in jeopardy in order to save money. Our reasons for choosing Lindale as the other special schools in the area have not changed, leaving us worried and anxious over our daughter's educational future. By communicating with other parents and my experience with the school selection process has only highlighted the fact that the Lindale school has not had a fair and equal footing with the other special schools in the area, which in turn has led us to this unsettling situation. I'm sure there are other children with the same special needs as my daughter who would benefit from the high educational standards coupled with the welcome and safe environment that Lindale offers. His email, I, I, he said to me, um, this was on the 26th of April of 2012. Thank you for your query and giving me full understanding of your daughter's needs and your concerns. I am afraid you are misinformed by the physiotherapist and continuing care worker as there are no plans to close Lindale School. The local authority does have a statutory duty to keep all of its specialist provision under constant review but must consult with people if there are any plans to close or open up a new provision. I am pleased to hear that the provision at Lindale and from the Ford to Home Teaching Service successfully meets Madeline's complex needs. Thank you. 
layout of the school um, the classrooms are very open plan very light there's lots of room for the children to maneuver in their chairs they all get included children can go into each other's classrooms which wasn't available at other schools Okay, 
Okay, I'm sorry about this. Oh, it's all right. It's like ordeal. Um, <coughs> my question is, um, how has this subject come up when you say that um, that